um, I really felt like, you know, one of the things that was important to show for me is kind of how a generational legacy can play itself out. You know, so Tap's grandfather has this history of uh, alcoholism and sort of this, you know, abusive behavior in certain respects and uh, a, abandonment, you know, tendency. And it's interest, it was interesting to me to see how that could play out for as a generational legacy for his granddaughter. And then you look and see who she's with and this complicated relationship with this guy who, by the way, happens to be affected also by a legacy of alcoholism. So, you know, I, I think these are the things that are, you know, in our community that we don't necessarily acknowledge, we don't talk about, we don't always get to unpack. So this was that opportunity, I think, for for me as a writer and, and also something, you know, as for readers to be able to observe. So the the audio book we're working on right now, um, I'm in LA, so the plan has been to really turn it into kind of a, a little bit of a audio dramatic performance. Um, but I will disclose a little bit of news that's um, still in progress, but it appears that the book is going to be optioned very soon for um, film and television. So the <laughs> uh, audio book is a little bit on hold because of uh, that negotiation. So thank you for, for picking that up. You know, there were, I dropped a lot of things in the book. I really tried to make it something that was a bit of a, you know, multi-layered experience so that you could read it more than once and get something out of it another time. So, um, so there, hopefully, you know, there's, there's little Easter eggs in there and there are little things that I did, you know, hide in between the words and in the pages um, that will hopefully give people you know, a, a completely, not a completely different experience, but another layer of experience in reading the book again. And, and since it's a trilogy, you know, my, my thought is that, you know, the first book is something that people will revisit um, as they, as the other books come out, which will probably be one this, you know, this year in October, and then the next one next year, the final, um, the final book in the trilogy. So, uh, I'm glad that you you saw that. <laughs> There's some other little stuff in there. <laughs> Where you know, I I kind of let these characters play out how they're going to play out once I do the character development and and figure out you know who they're going to be. And I think one of the interesting things to watch for for uh, in the evolution of their friendship is that you know they could have misunderstandings and still come back together in their own ways, you know, and still be there to support each other, how they were going to do, you know, no matter what misunderstandings happen. I think, you know, people do live out their experiences in their mind through their perceptions, and it's not always accurate. And, some, and it is overthought, you know, a lot of times that it's, it's misinterpretations on a daily basis, you know, that, that cause a lot of conflict. And um, and just to be able to see the strength of, you know, people's relationships to come through uh, those misunderstandings and to, and to not give up on each other, you know. And I, I think that was something that uh, was interesting to watch for, for me along the lines of these characters.